Tommy, obviously we've secured our safety in the division, but that that, well, that doesn't mean that we're going to go into Saturday's game, you know, on holiday mode, does it? We we want to give a nice performance for the fans who've backed us so well this season, don't we? Yeah, I think I mentioned after the York game and the result, um, and obviously the outcome, it means that the game has less pressure on it. That's all, but we've still want to turn up and, and put a performance on and win a football match. You know, all I've ever asked the players to do game to game is to think about the next game and that's it. Um, for some of them, it's almost a, an opportunity if they haven't been on the pitch then, and they get on the pitch is to show me what they can do in a mass situation. But the lads that we've called upon in the five games so far have done very well. Um, so I wouldn't be making huge changes just for the sake of it. Like I said, it's, it's a competitive fixture. It's to fulfil the, the league programme. And if we can finish further up the table by winning it uh, on Saturday, then we'll be giving it our best to do that. And there's obviously an unbeaten record to, to keep intact, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's nice to, for you to keep telling me that, but um, <laughs> you keep telling me it'll, it'll end eventually. And, and when it ends, you know, we, we look forward and we look, we look forward beyond when it does come to an end. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is the last game of the season. Um, and I always feel if you go into the close season in a positive frame of mind as a football club, not just as a football player or a coach and manager, fans, people behind the scenes, you know, they come back with a little bit more optimism. And I know I've not been here long enough to put my full stamp on the on the place, but I think, you know, when we come back in pre-season, which is not that long after we break, to be honest with you, um, people see a different kind of uh, approach to the games. And, and that that's not because it'll be better, it'll just be different. And uh, we'll have a very positive vote on it. We mentioned it briefly there, but I guess it is a really good opportunity for the players, the squad there, to well, one, for one last time, to really show you that they deserve to be here next season, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we have ten or so lads already under contract, but it's not a guarantee that they're going to be here. You know, I think there's conversations I've got to have individually, and you know, with, with, with the people upstairs from me, where if there are certain people that I feel aren't relative to what I want to do, then there needs to be a discussion. But that's, you know, that's in-house business and that'll, that'll be kept privately. And I'll, I'll speak, like I said, individually to every single player, whether they're on loan, whether they're out of contract, youngsters. And I'll make it very clear as to what my plan is for the, for the next season and, and beyond. And then we come to an arrangement between each individual as to what's the best, you know, progress for them or pathway for them. And looking back at Saturday, obviously, it must be a lot nicer to finish the season at home in front of the majority of our own fans, mustn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the, the two games we've had there so far yielded points in both, scored goals in both. It's what we want to keep a trend going. You know, we, we need, going forward, we definitely need to make our home form better. It's as simple as that. Most teams do, do pick up more points at home than they do away from home, but that hasn't been the trend um, at all shot for the last couple of seasons. So it's something I'm very aware of. There's no magic switch, you can't just sprinkle fairy dust on it. It's something you have to work towards. And I think the style of play isn't just about a Saturday, it's about your mindset when you come back to pre-season training. We've all got to be focused, rowing in the same direction. That's from the, the kit man to the tea lady to the, the lady who gives us the food at the training ground, through the, all the support staff and the players. And loads of arms and legs and hearts beating, but one mind and they've got to follow me, simple as that. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.